because of the success of the company, you are one of the wealthiest men in the United States and one of the wealthiest men in the world. You're also one of the biggest philanthropists in the United States and the world. So let's talk about your philanthropy for a moment. When did you realize that you just can't take it with you and you better to give it away? At what point in your life do you say, I've got to do something with this other than just hold on to it? Well, it was fairly late in the process because I kept thinking it's all going to disappear. <laughs> that, uh, that I've often said, if this is a dream, don't wake me. Uh, that, uh, but yes, as, uh, as the years went on, why uh, it uh, seemed more real. And uh, so yeah, that as I got older, I said, you know, you can't take it with you. But I've wanted to focus on three or four main charities rather than try and, and spread it across the board. To the University of Oregon, your alma mater, mm -hmm. you've given a couple hundred million dollars relating to athletics, mm -hmm. but you've also given $500 million recently for a science uh, center. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide to be so generous to your alma mater? Well, and basically, uh, you know, I, I kind of have to laugh because uh, uh, two, of the, uh, two of the great entrepreneurs, uh, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, basically dropped out of college when they were uh, freshmen. And uh, my story is the exact opposite. The, uh, the company Nike is really a result of two universities, the uh, University of Oregon, which, printed the, uh, which started the idea of running shoes, and then Stanford, which uh, you know, had the entrepreneurship education. So I've tried to give back to those two schools. Those have been two of uh, my main uh, contributions. And then the other one that, uh, that means a lot to me is a, uh, OHSU, which has a, a very uh, outstanding leader in their cancer research area. So the yeah. Oregon Science Health University? Oregon Health Sciences, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You gave them $500 million mm -hmm. for cancer research. Mm -hmm. You've also given recently $400 million for a new scholarship fellowship program at Stanford University mm -hmm. called the Knight Hennessy Fellows. So when you give a $400 million gift or a $500 million gift, do you actually write a check out or do you just kind of wire the money and is it hard to write that <laughs> check? Or? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, it's a little bit of this. It, I, some of it's been given in stock, and some of it's and it's, it's paid out over a few years. Mm -hmm. You had two sons. One died tragically in a scuba diving accident, mm -hmm. and uh, in his honor, you've uh, done some things. And uh, how have you tried to uh, memorialize him in that way? Well, he was a big sports fan, and uh, so uh, we gave some money to the University of Oregon uh, for their new basketball arena, which was named after him.